Let's hop right in. First question is, why are you such a lose... Mom. I noticed that last video was really squinty, and that's not an Asian joke. I was just sick, and the bright light wasn't easy on my eyes. So let's hope this turns out better. I actually adjusted the lighting a little bit, so it's a little bit darker. Maybe that'll be good. I don't know. We'll find out. This is the official pilot episode of my Q&A series, which I am dubbing Ask Steven Questions. Nah, I'm just kidding. I think I'm going to call it The Dimterrogation. Of course, you'd know that if you saw the title of the video already. Let me know if you hate that name or not. It's still subject to change, but for now, I'm going to roll with it. In terms of answering your questions, nothing is changing. Leave me comments, and I'll do my best to get to all of them. The purpose of this video and, and this entire series of videos is to either add more of a tone or to elaborate if there's too much to discuss in a single reply. But your comments in this video will help structure the next, so ask away. Since this is an experimental thing, I'm not entirely sure if I'll divvy up um, the questions by either number or by length of the answer. Uh, but for now, I'm going to aim for length. That way you won't have to sit through like 30 minute videos. I would never subject you to, to that much of me in such a small amount of time in a single video, if that makes sense. If I pronounce your name incorrectly, I sincerely apologize. Feel free to correct me um, if you see me butcher something until it dies to death. Okay, first real question. FSJuicyJ asks, Does your Kraken X62 conflict with Asus Aura on your new motherboard? I want the cooler, but I heard that Cam and Aura conflict. Um, I don't seem to be running into any issues. There are some problems with Cam. Um, I've noticed that over time, but those have persisted since before I started using the Aura software. So I don't really think they're related. I looked into it a little bit, other people are reporting issues such as the Kraken not showing up in cam, and my only suggestion for that is to try reinstalling the latest versions of both applications. And if that doesn't work, NZXC said they are working on a fix. Uh, I don't know if this will help any, but I have cam set to launch when my computer starts up, and I only ever open the ASUS Aura software when I want to change the lighting. Otherwise, I almost never have it active. Second, do you have RGB strips behind the front fascia on your case to get that glow on the front? That's that pink glow over there. It's a 2 meter Fantex LED strip that's connected directly to the N2 Evolve case. It illuminates the back cable management area and I threaded the excess of the strip through the front to get this glow. It's not my idea, I got it from a PC part picker video, so it's not original or anything like that. I just saw a guy do it and my jaw dropped and I was like, dude, that's dope, I'ma steal it. Third part of the comment, I like the idea of a setup show. It always gives me ideas for what I could do to improve mine even if I can't afford to buy anything new. As for snorting peppers or other painful weird stuff, not a fan. I don't think you torturing yourself with stuff like that would be very fun to watch. This one's not a question, but it's part of the comment, so I thought I'd talk about it anyway. The idea of a setup show tickled my fancy for pretty much the exact same reason. A lot of people have great ideas for things, and I'm always looking for ways to improve my environment, so why not share? And if not to share, at least show off. I mean, you worked on it. Get some recognition. I'm also glad you're not a fan of the snorting peppers idea. I like spicy things, and I like eating peppers, but everyone knows that those two holes are not pepper abodes, among a few other holes I can think of. Next up, Imhotep FR, which I assume stands for France. Actually, it'd be nice if you had told us about your age, the region where you live, and especially, why haven't you heating in this room? Is it a, is it a garage? A music studio? No, uh, it's just my room. Uh, but anyway. Just turned 26, I live on the east coast of the United States, and there is no heating in my bedroom because we're cheap and we don't like spending money on gas. It's also how I like to overclock. Moving on. Heinz 199946. Um, how old are you? 26. Where are you from and where are you living? Only the country. United States. I'm from the United States. My parents are from Taiwan and my grandparents are from China, which makes me Chinese. Did you have girlfriend? Or at least I assume GF is girlfriend. I have had a few girlfriends over time. Um, my last relationship was my longest one, and that lasted for four years, and it ended in August. Um, you know, you, you build a computer, and sometimes you just can't get components to work with each other. You hit incompatibilities. Uh, no matter what you do, you can't get DDR4 DIMMs into a DDR3 slot. Un unless you can, but I haven't heard of it. And that's not the fault of any particular part. They're just not meant to work together. Anyway, I'm currently single. Probably for good reason. The fact that I consistently compare relationships to hardware will probably keep me that way for an extended period of time. On a somewhat related note, this is not so much a question as more of a triumphant claim. 
Zixian or Zixion, Z Zixian says in response to my last video, so it all started with a woman. And technically, yes. Yes, it did. This is not one of the women I have dated, and this is not likely to be a woman I would date in the future. Because she knows better. Oh lord, please forgive me. Sabok Jut or Jut or... Sorry. Hey Steven or Stefan. Thanks for featuring my truly awful comment. Steven with a V. Though some people seem to think that they're interchangeable for some reason. And it was not an awful comment. It was actually kind of fun to answer. It gave me the chance to kill like eight birds with one stone. And by eight, I mean maybe three. You guys know I can't count. What do you think about doing your own graphic overlays for your videos? I'm talking about stuff like the stats that are showed when reviewing hardware, maybe a short intro or outro. The text overlays for side comments are great, but I think they could use a little bit of a personal touch. It doesn't have to be pro like MKBHD. He's pretty pro. Or hardware Canucks. Also pretty pro. It should fit you and your style. My graphic overlays... The problem is I'm not very artsy. You could probably tell from my watermark in my channel logo. Uh, text overlays I can do. I can definitely do those. So I'll be sure to incorporate those a little more often. Intros I don't really plan on doing. I choose to do my videos by sort of just diving right in. And this way people who just want an answer get it faster. They don't have to worry about those few extra seconds it might take. Um, and you'll also notice that I don't normally introduce myself until the video is over. Um, the outros, though, those are my bloopers. Also, what are your thoughts on opening up a Patreon? I think you deserve it and could accelerate production of some new hardware reviews. So about this Patreon thing, I thought about it and I'd feel pretty bad. Um, I like to think I'm pretty transparent with you guys. If you ask me something, I won't withhold information. And I can't think of anything that would be really worthy to give away to people who want to donate to me. The only thing I can think to do now is if you guys want to donate. And if you don't want to, that's totally okay. I completely understand. I would be funneling 100% of the money into a video of some sort. And if it's not the video, it would be into the production of all future videos. I'm thinking it's like, if it's like a little bit of cash, I can do a tech for under X dollars thing. If it's a little more than a little, I can look into a peripheral that you guys might be curious about and I can review that. This one's probably a little bit ambitious, but if it gets to be like 500, 600 US dollars, I can take a crack at a budget build since I know a lot of you want to see what I can like slap together. If it falls somewhere in between, maybe like a graphics card review or a comparison between a couple of budget GPUs maybe. And if there's any leftover cash, I can save it for production equipment, like a, a motorized camera slider that would save me a lot of time, or a second camera for alternate angles. But uh, this Patreon thing, it's like brand new to me. I'm not entirely sure how it works. And this is just conceptualizing for now. If you guys have better ideas, feel free to toss them my way and I'm sure something will work out. If it ever gets to the point where I can start building computers, I'll look into buying that second camera to make things a little smoother. Um, but cameras and lenses are expensive, so we'll, we'll see. Uh, I could always just build it twice. That, that probably wouldn't bug me. <laughs> anyway, I'll link the Patreon thing down in the description. Um, again, there's no need to donate. Money is tight. I'd rather you guys save it for your own computers and then send me pictures of those computers before throwing the money at me. But if you do, I'll be sure that goes into something that I hope you guys would really, really enjoy. The last question will be from Ethan Sizemore, and boy, do I like your last name. So, um, Ethan's asking, any tips for a first-time PC builder? I've been using PC Part Picker to make sure everything works out, but other than that, I got nothing. And that's okay. Um, I saved this one for last because I suspect it'll probably take the most time, so I'm going to try to be thorough. But if you guys want something more in-depth, I can definitely turn that into something later. PC Part Picker is a great place to start. They're usually really good about compatibility, or at least warning you if they're not sure about something. If PC Part Picker isn't spitting any errors at you, there's a good chance that your build will be fine in terms of compatibility. But choosing the right components depends a lot on what you want to do. For gaming, for example, an i5 processor holds up really well. At this point in time, I would recommend the 7500, the 7600, or the 7600K. If you want to get into things like streaming or content creation, extra cores and hyperthreading help a lot. So you can look into Intel's X99 platform, which is generally more expensive as a whole, or work towards an i7-7700 or 7700K, which are still expensive, but not usually as bad as the X99 platform. The K on the model number determines whether or not you can overclock it. It'll cost more, but you can usually yank some better performance out of it if you're willing to dabble in the BIOS settings of your motherboard. If you're not going to overclock, you can also save money on the motherboard by getting an appropriate one. And, and by that, I mean um, X or Z. 
boards like the Z170 or the X99 will allow for overclocking, but anything with a B or an H like B150, H110, H170 do not. I would recommend sticking to a newer platform like DDR4 only because you'll have better upgrade paths in the future as opposed to buying AMD or older Intel chips right now. Older CPUs use DDR3 RAM, but DDR4 is becoming really mainstream. If you end up wanting to upgrade later, you can do it piece by piece instead of having to upgrade the entire system at once. Uh, as for a cooling solution, that really depends on the processor that you choose. If you're not overclocking, there's really no need for anything fancy. The stock cooler, which is not provided with KCU chips, will work fine, if not a little noisily. If you want something else, then the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo or the T4 will be enough. But once you get into overclocking territory, I would recommend a heavier solution like the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 3 or a 280mm all-in-one water cooler. Storage and RAM are usually an easier choice. Uh, a solid state drive will always be better than a mechanical hard drive in terms of speeds, even the cheapest ones. So it's nice to have your operating system on that, along with a few other core programs that you use really frequently. Then you can buy a normal hard drive for just storing media or games or whatever it is you do. Who downloads porn anymore anyway? Eight gigabytes of RAM is just enough for gaming, but that's about it. I would recommend at least 16 gigabytes if you would like to have some background programs running too. DDR4 RAM speeds, you probably won't notice too much, but a good place to start is 2400 megahertz. Most of your money will probably end up going towards a GPU, and that's how it should be, as this typically has the largest impact on your gaming performance, assuming gaming is what you're aiming to do. Although some game titles are CPU bound, so you might get some variance there. A 1070 is pretty expensive, but it tackles 1080p gaming like a champ. So that's a good place to start looking, and then you can go up or down from there depending on your budget. As for the case, as long as it looks good, and PC Part Picker does not complain about compatibility, it'll probably work just fine. And then you've got bling factors like the Hue Plus or the Air RGB fans, but I'd focus on putting more power into your computer before making it look fancy. For budget builds, I usually recommend something from AMD, but they're still on DDR3 until Ryzen is released, and I'm waiting to see how that turns out before I can like recommend it with confidence. But, it looks really promising so far. So those are some of the questions I caught. Let me know if you have any more in the comments section and I'll do my best to wiggle it into the next Dimterrogation. Like, dislike, comment, subscribe, share, shoot me them questions. Thanks for watching, my name is Steven and I am a little dim. Bye bye. A comment? I'm gonna get to you in a second. If there's too much to discuss in just a reply. Discuss. did I say disgust or discuss? There is not too much disgust with you guys, I promise. I love each and every one of you. He is asking, I presume he, I, I'm assuming he, 97% of you are male and 3% are female, so I'm pretty safe in, in asking, or in, in assuming, I think. I need to get that thing out of here. That's annoying. It's a 2 meter, 2 meter Fantex LED. I keep wanting to say millimeter for some reason, and it keeps stumbling me. I don't think you torturing yourself with, or with, with stuff. Mm, that's hard to say. Why is that hard to say? I didn't, even, I didn't write that, so I guess I have an excuse, but still, it's not hard to say. The region where you live, and especially why you haven't... He why, ha why haven't you... Why haven't you heated in... Damn it. It's still cold in my room, by the way. Next up. I have to say it next up like that, because if I say it faster, that thing... That I don't want to call... Wakes up. I keep looking over there, because I'm looking at... I'm, I'm, I'm doing something slightly different with the audio. It's way closer now which in theory means that you'd hear me better and it'd be a lot more clear, but it, I'm also trying to make sure it doesn't peak. So it's, it's up on that monitor. You can't see that monitor, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be pro like MP, uh, uh, shit. I can't believe I messed up his name. His name is just five letters. And by name, I mean his channel, branding, whatever. I can take a, a crack at a budget build. I said crack and my thumb cracked, but that was impeccable timing. It was not, uh, shit, now I gotta redo it. But DDR4 is becoming really mainstream. <laughs> Ow.